Yo, what's going on, my little thugs? How you guys doing today? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to improve in the hood, and you know what I'm saying, better your aim and better your game sense, and you know what I'm saying, just make you an overall goat, and you finna get right into it. Let's waste no time. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your ping. You know what I'm saying? You guys need to find what ping you are, and the best way to do that is by getting row QOL or row pro. Now row pro you can only use for normal servers, which aren't macro servers, but for macro servers you need to use row QOL. Row QOL is five dollars a month, and row pro is i think 3.99 a month which is four dollars a month i actually have both of these um so i'm paying like nine dollars a month for both but you really don't all you really need is row qo which is five dollars a month and you can use this on like anything but i i have both because i don't know i'm stupid but basically once you guys get row qo you guys can go to the the hood macro link i'll leave it in the comments it looks something like this it'll say games the hood macro and it'll say like this place is part of the hood you guys just want to scroll down and come here to where you see filters click filters and click best connection it should ask you up here or something like that if you guys want you know what i'm saying to uh show your location for a moment to show like where your best connection is just click allow it's not going to log anything like that it's not weird trust me i use it if i did use it i would not promote it to you guys but here it's going to show the best ping for me and you know what i'm saying I can join it and i'm gonna be low ping and stuff like that as you guys can see i'm like low ping in this i'm like 50 going down you know what i'm saying and second part like next to ping is going to be settings and stuff like that so for settings i personally would just say you guys should mess around with your settings and find what's best for you because that's what i did i have a fairly slow sense people say it's really slow i have 0.055 and my dpi is 800 but the difference between me and a lot of people is that i am an arm player i means i play the game with my arm and not my wrist i don't just only move my wrist whenever i'm playing i move my entire arm some people like to only move their wrist so they need higher sense but People like me use their arm to play which allows me to like actually play the game with my low sense i'm not saying that you guys shouldn't copy my sense but i'm trying to say that maybe my sense should be a start to where you guys can go find what works best for you or maybe my sense works best for you i just find your taste you know what i'm saying to where it makes you the best player that you are but like everyone always says there's always room for improvement just remember that another thing would be resolution so you guys can use native resolution which is 1920 by 1080 which is what i use or you guys can go on stretch resolution which is things like 1660 by 1080 1440 by 1080 things like that now the reason i don't use stretch resolution is because it lowers the quality of like the actual screen and it hurts my eyes whenever i use it because it just doesn't look right to me but this doesn't mean it won't look right to you guys so i would definitely recommend trying out other resolutions to make sure that you know what i'm saying if you do have a good resolution that you're really good on and keep using it now i don't know how to change resolution on like amd or anything like that but if you guys have nvidia you guys can just look up how to change my resolution with nvidia and it'll pop up a whole bunch of videos also you guys have fov which is your uh roblox the hood setting as 70 to 120 i don't use fov a lot of people use from like 70 fov to like 85 i don't recommend going higher than that because it just looks so weird but everyone has their own thing like i said so i would test out from like five increments to like 75 80 85 90 95 100 etc etc that's really it for the ping slash macro thing let's move on to the next way to improve all right so i want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video which is adorite.com adorite is a trusted site used by many influencers to purchase limiteds or robux for very cheap prices and on adorite you can actually sell your limiteds for robux or gift cards such as amazon xbox ebay spotify or you know what i'm saying the list just goes on and on and on or if you want you can list them to other people for crypto or usd and literally anybody can sign up even you can sign up for adorite to sell your limiteds or purchase robux in less than minutes Adorite is 100% legit, and like I said, hundreds and hundreds of influencers and thousands and thousands of people use this website every single day. It's trusted, and I highly recommend it. And thank you so much, Adorate, for sponsoring this video. Let's get right back to it. So the other way you can improve in the hood is basically by getting a macro. And a lot of people don't know how to actually macro. I did make a video on it. I'll put it up on screen and I'll put it in the description. So you guys are going to go there to just figure out how to macro. I'm not going to explain how to do it in this video because I already explained it. I'm not going to re-explain it. That's a five minute video, five minute process. I'm not going to do that. Please just go watch the video. I'll probably put it in the card in the top right. So you guys can just click it, but go watch that video. To actually macro, you need to be skinny in the hood. And to be skinny in the hood, you guys need to go to the gym and eat lettuce. I don't if you guys know that so a lot of people were having issues because of that reason and gym is actually over here it's just past the bank to the left so you go up here go to the left and you'll see the gym hood fitness and i think you eat a thousand lettuce so you just like keep picking it up and keep eating it it's like a thousand lettuce the way you can check it 
All right, let's get this. <laughs> the way you can check your stats is by clicking this, and you'll see your stats muscle should be white instead of like all the way up here being red. So once it gets all the way down here to white, you can actually macro the fastest that you can, but you can still macro while being like maybe a little bit red. But I just recommend you to be the smallest that you can be. On top of that, I'm going to show you guys my macro settings. So I do use a Logitech mouse, so I have a Logitech macro. And these are my Logitech macro settings right here. It's scroll up. 5ms and then scroll down the way you get the 5ms is by clicking uh this unchecking use standard delays and it'll pull a little thing here and you just put it in the middle and just type 5. a lot of people use 10. Uh, i think 10 is like it makes it slower so when i use 5 i feel like my macro is way faster you definitely don't want to go to 1 because it makes your macro like unusable for some reason on logistic but obviously if you have a razor macro i would look up like best razor macro for like the hood because i don't have a razor mouse so i'm not gonna know what the best razor settings is you know what i'm saying another thing for macro is going to be like the animations that you use to macro so it's things like you can use like greet obviously which is the normal one that everyone uses or you can use this dance weirdly enough and once it gets to like the the second side you can do this and you can like sideways macro and there's also things called uh roblox e <laughs> oh, there's also things called roblox emote macros which are things like this which allow you to macro forward or allow you to macro forwards and there's a couple that allow you to macro sideways and there's more that allow you to macro forwards i'm gonna put a list of them up on screen right now of which ones allow you to go forwards by just macroing at a certain time you know what i'm saying it's like doing this and then pulling out your knife or whatever i don't know why it's not working yeah but yeah there's gonna be a list up on screen of all of the good ones that you can use you know what i'm saying and they do cost robux obviously but if you bind them to your mouse the correct way which i'm gonna show you how to do right now they're really good so to bind your emote to your whatever mouse or keyboard or whatever you guys want to do period and then the number of whatever your emote is on and then period again and then whatever your emote's on i do two because it it's like i don't know why but whenever you do one it messes up a lot of the time so that's why i do it twice and it works like all the time so just do period and then one through nine or whatever your emote's on and then period again all right for the next segment we're going to talk about aiming so like tracing and predicting the best way i can describe the hood aim system is that you need to aim in front of the person or aim where the person is going to go a lot of you guys always ask me Sai, how do you air people so i'm gonna just basically explain it to you guys the best way i can what you want to do is you want to just move around and and obviously you're gonna want to trace their prediction because if you trace their body come over here if you trace their body like this you're not gonna hit anything you see how i'm missing everything because i'm tracing his body instead of his prediction where he's going to go now when i start tracing his prediction you guys can see i'm hitting a lot more obviously i'm not gonna hit everything but boom just like that i'm hitting a lot more shots by just chasing his prediction instead of his body and basically what that means is you have to shoot where the person is walking or like where they're going to go all right and another thing to mention about the De hood aim system is that the bullet only goes to where the bottom left is and basically i'm gonna put up i'm gonna put up a screen picture on screen of what i mean by that or where the bullet is gonna aim at and i'm gonna show you guys an example right now as i'm not aiming at him, you can see in the bottom left it's not gonna go after him obviously unless i put my thing like right there and that's gonna hit him it's really 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 weird how the aim system works like that's not gonna hit him as you see that it's not gonna hit him but if i put it up like this obviously it's gonna hit him and this goes for this too if i shoot over here you can see i'm gonna hit him and that's because of the fact of whenever you're right click where your bullet is you guys can see how if i unright click it goes to his torso you guys see that right but when i'm right click and i'm aiming over here my bullet will still hit him because when I unright click, I'm still aiming at him. So if I'm aiming right here, I'm still aiming at him. I'm gonna hit him. It's really weird how the aim system kind of works, but you guys just gotta realize that it's just basically when you're right clicked, you're aiming more to the left because when you unright click, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know how to explain it, but just look at look at this. That's the best way I can explain it. But yeah, and the same thing with ears is just really just predict where they're gonna jump. You know what I'm saying? Wherever the person you, th wherever you think the person is gonna go, that's where you should aim. Just shoot in front of the person, and you should you should be good. Obviously, me saying tracing your prediction or you know what I'm saying tracing the torso is easier said than done. So if you guys do need help tracing, you guys can use the Hood Customs FFA bot, or you guys can go to any other like Hood Aim Training game. There's also things like Aim Labs and Kovacs and stuff like that, where you guys can go and practice your tracing. I don't usually do that, but like I said, if you guys do need help with Aim, use Kovacs, Aim Labs, or any like Roblox the Hood Aim tutorial system game. You know what I mean? I'll like I'll I'll put them in the description. Another way to improve.
Why the fuck is it basketball? <laughs> Another way to improve at the hood is by your animations and stuff like that. And what I mean by that is like the walking animation and the jumping animation, the falling animation. And I'm gonna basically show you guys like the best fall, jump, walk animations that you guys should be using on the hood. All right, so as you guys can see, I have a whole bunch of runs here and I'm gonna let you guys know the best runs are currently, in my opinion, in the in like the, the, the hood scene opinion for the, the hood comp scene is zombie, mage, arthro, and vampire. All of these have really good gun placements and what i mean by that is as you guys can see whenever i'm running around and i'm aiming and i do this the gun's on the left side of my screen right it's out of the way out of sight out of mind you know what they'd be saying and this is zombie run obviously our throw is kind of the same uh mage is also really good it doesn't really move the gun a lot basically you don't want to run that's going to have your gun all up in your face you know what i'm saying you don't want that you want your vision to be clear and you want to be able to you know what i'm saying move around freely all right and so for the best jump this is kind of controversial everybody uses like every jump so i'm gonna just let you guys know what jumps a lot of people use so you guys can you know what i'm saying maybe play around with it so the first one is ninja jump uh that's like the most popular one a lot of people use ninja jump a lot of people also use old school jump mage jump werewolf jump zombie jump arthro jump and superhero jump now these are like the main jumps that people use obviously you can like play around with it and see what you know what i'm saying your favorite one is the one that suits you the best and you know what i'm saying that's really it and for the fall animations the best one in my opinion is mage fall the two dynamic duo when it comes to jump and fall is ninja and mage which is what almost every everyone uses nowadays but you can also use things like old school fall ninja fall arthro fall and uh mage fall obviously also werewolf fall but who the hell really uses a werewolf in 2024 as if you really want to but i'm not using that shit i'm not gonna lie and the rest are really just personal based other than climb i recommend using arthro climb because it's the fastest one a lot of people also use old school climb they kind of go hand in hand they're both really good for whenever you need to go on top of a building on the mountains and stuff you need to go to climb a building first i would recommend those two so now that we've talked about your ping your settings your macro your tracing and predictions your animations we're gonna move on to skins now a lot of you guys don't know this but skins actually do improve your gameplay and not in the way that i'm saying that oh the most expensive skins in the game make your gameplay good no that's not how it works because the thing is that i would rather use no skins at all than golden age which is the most expensive skins in the game golden age is very delayed and what a lot of people don't know about that is every pack skin that's came out past the electric pack from last year is all delayed all of it is delayed So the main delayed skins are usually pack skins and as you guys can see here i have the new pack obviously and these are really delayed i don't know if you guys can hear that from when i'm clicking versus when it's coming out but it's very 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 delayed and it's obviously just overall a bad option to use other than like the actual skins like basically what i mean by actual skins is basically the normal skin just rewrapped so you see guys how this is the normal rev skin or like the rev model it's just rewrapped with a different texture so i recommend just using a normal basically modeled skin with just a different texture things like any of the battle warns any of the red tigers or glassy red hot galaxy you know what i'm saying any of these are good uses because none of these are actually delayed this goes with every single skin in the game that has like a animation or a sound to it or anything that isn't the normal gun model for the skin as you guys can tell this is not the normal rev model very obviously but yeah just use normal skins or if you guys are trying to improve in the hood and you guys have only pack skins i recommend just only using like no skins at all to get better because those skins are just holding you down and another thing i want to talk about with skins is kind of unrelated in a way but knives are really 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 useful so useful in fact that i I recommend you guys go and if you guys have no robux at all i recommend you guys get on mobile right now and buying the one dollar robux just so you guys can go to the freaking game pass and buy the knife game pass they're so useful they get you to places that you cannot get to with your normal like body just like this i would not be able to jump up here with my normal not even get anywhere close so like these just help you get into situations that you would never be able to get into obviously so let's say you're in a fight you know what i'm saying say you're in a fight you know what i'm saying you just shot both of your dbs you need to get reloaded you know what i'm saying you can just easily jump up their full coverage in literally seconds and your, your your enemy's like bro what just happened you all the way up there you have the height advantage and if you guys don't know a thing about height advantages but sometimes whenever you're trying to shoot as you guys can see like look at that Look how I'm hitting the how I'm hitting the building. He's perfectly hitting me. Height advantage is is something, and especially it's something that you can get whenever you guys have a knife because it's just as simple as boom, bam, and you're up there. But obviously I suck, but you can get better at like jumping up on buildings and stuff with your knife. But yeah, you don't have to have a knife skin. Uh, no knife skin makes you faster than the other. Obviously, you just use the default no knife, but. <laughs> <Sky> <laughs> 
Yeah, I recommend having the knife game pass and having it accessible in your inventory at like all times. Don't put it to like zero or something where you can't click it. But yeah. All right. So the last thing I'm going to go over is your mindset is like your mental. You know what I'm saying your perception on the game whenever you play it for a decent amount of time or maybe you just hopped on and you're already upset. I'm going to just let you guys know basically from the jump, do not get on a game whenever you're already upset or something like that. And you're like purposely playing a competitive type scene and you know, you're already, gonna be, you're already upset because it's going to ruin your mental. It's going to make your aim bad. You know what I'm saying? And you're overall just going to get even upset. You know what I'm saying? This goes for IRL too. Just like some IRL shit. Just throw it in there. But basically, especially if you're mad, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're shaking. You're already upset. You're going to be missing a lot of your shots. And it's just going to make you even more tilted. You know what I'm saying? You're going to keep missing all your shots. You're going to get even more tilted. And it's just going to make you just mad. Another thing is like being nervous and stuff. When you're in a 1v1, you're in a fight. And you know what I'm saying? You're shaking. You're not able to trace. And you're missing all your shots. And you know what I'm saying? You don't know what to do. And basically, you guys got to lose that. You know what I'm saying? Lose that nerve. Lose that anger. Lose that sadness whenever you're playing the game. I recommend if you're going to hop on the game to just play some music. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Maybe vibe with your friends in the VC. Just do something also on the alternative side that makes you you cool calm and collect so you're not going into the game upset or you know what i'm saying full of nerves or any of that stuff bro, what's it what's he doing up there bro but yeah learn to combat your nerves learn to combat your uh your anger and, and you know what i'm saying stuff like that so you're not just out here you know what i'm saying missing all your shots whenever you're trying to play because a calm player is the best player and you know what bro i'm gonna throw in some bonus ones for y'all just because i like y'all so freaking much bro all right so one of the first bonus ones we're gonna be talking about is food now the hood has so much food it has pizza hamburger donut chicken uh cola has lettuce has all of this good stuff bro and i'm gonna let you guys know the best ones that you guys should pick up whenever you guys are in a big raid or whenever you're fighting someone you guys want the most amount of health whenever you eat i'm gonna let y'all know the best ones i'm gonna play a video showing the amount of health you guys gain off all of these foods like lettuce pizza and all this stuff and basically just to sum it all up pizza is the worst food you can buy because it only gives you four eats like you know what i'm saying four munches and it's gone and it gives you like basically no health same with the hot dog they're the two worst ones in the game i wouldn't recommend picking them up but the ones that i do recommend you guys picking up are the lettuce the cookie if you guys have it always keep your cookie on hand by lettuce cookie uh chicken and like hamburger or like taco or donut one of those all of those three are really good alternative but chicken is one of the best along with lettuce and your cookie they give you the most eats out of like anything and the most health and i can pre hear the comments everybody gonna be like oh why lettuce it only gives you one eat the reason is because you can hold two of them and it gives you literally like 30 percent of hp so that's two eats and you're getting 60 percent of your hp back which is crazy a lot of people use it in kos's or like fights that they do so they can instantly regain health back and another bonus i'm gonna let you guys know about is heavy armor some people i noticed have no idea where heavy armor is or what heavy armor even existed it's right here it's called high medium armor it's behind school obviously it's down here and once you guys buy it you guys get about 20 to 25 percent more armor than like the normal medium that you get from the house and honestly if you guys can make the trip down here to get it is 100% worth it obviously it used to be up by like you know what i'm saying warehouse when or before like the og update happened and then before that it was like the super high medium behind bank or whatever inside the vault the full armor but now this is the only place that you can get the high medium armor it's down here so i recommend if you guys can go get it to go get it because it's the best armor obviously and it doesn't take that much but right, this, this guy doing right all right, yeah, that's really it, I think. I think I showed y'all a whole bunch of ways to improve on the hood. So if you guys do end up improving in the hood, you know what I'm saying, you guys see a little bit of change, make sure you guys go down below and let me know in the comments. Also, subscribe. Click that big white subscribe button because we're so close to 35K. We're trying to hit 40K here soon. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that's it. Hope you guys have a blessed, amazing rest of your guys' day. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I'm out. Peace. All right, bro.